continuously for 20 years or so. Uh, I've been on this body when the party has frankly been teetering on the edge of bankruptcy. Um, the party's never been in a stronger financial position than it is right now, um, and that's a reflection of our strength and our membership. So just a bit of context for us all to remember. Secondly, I'm not going to get into the details. That's for Douglas. That's what he's elected to do. And, of course, this body is the governing body of the party. But, you know, just be very careful, uh, all of us, about suggestions that there are problems with the party's finances because we depend on donors to donate. There are no uh, reasons for people to be concerned about the party's finances and all of us need to be careful about not suggesting that there is. Um, and lastly, we've got to be careful as an NEC. We don't reap what we sow. If we have leaks from this body, as I said earlier on, it limits the ability for open, free and frank discussion. Uh, this body is all, and this is the governing body of the party with the responsibility to pass a budget. Um, and if we, so in all the years I've been on it, there has been good quality, uh, detailed financial information given by national treasurers, and that's how it should be. But if there are leaks, as with everything else, it, that gets more difficult to do. So everybody has to be very clear about that and you know if I was a betting person and just to be clear Alison this is not directed at you in any way shape or form uh, but if I was a betting person I would bet we'll see the statement that's just been read out out in public this afternoon um, so I hope I'm wrong about that and it might do a great uh, benefit for the confidence we all have in the discussions we can have in this NEC if I am proved wrong about that and I'm sure I won't be the only one looking to see whether that is the case or not.